Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the double loop stitch. The double loop stitch has no abbreviation, however all pattern designers are different, and if they choose to abbreviate this stitch, the abbreviation should show in their pattern details. Now the double loop stitch is more of an intermediate stitch, and this is because the stitch is just a little bit more challenging, but it isn't that bad once you learn the basics and have a little practice. Okay, so when I usually crochet, this is how I hold my yarn. Now everyone is different on how they hold their yarn, but the way that I hold my yarn is not going to work well when crocheting the double loop stitch. So I'm going to have to change my hold in order to make this stitch, and you may have to as well. So what I'm going to do, instead of wrapping the yarn around my pinky finger, I'm going to place the yarn under my pinky and over the top of the rest of my fingers. Now this works for me, but this may not work for you. So I'm going to quickly show you another way that might be better for you. So instead, you may want to place the yarn on the palm of your hand and then pull it around to the front of your index finger. Then just grip the yarn with your fingers. And this works really well for some crocheters. Okay, so once you've decided on the grip for the double loop stitch, the next thing you do is wrap the yarn around your index finger two and a half times. So that's one, two, and there's your half right there because you're not going to finish wrapping that around your index finger. After you wrap your yarn, insert your hook into the next stitch. Now normally when we crochet, we would yarn over the hook from the bottom of the yarn and then grab the yarn from the top with your hook like this. And then we would bring the yarn through the stitch. But for this stitch, we are instead going to yarn over the hook from the top of the yarn like this. Now after you place the yarn over the hook from the top, insert your hook into the two and a half loops that are wrapped around your index finger. Catch all three loops with your hook and pull all three loops through only the stitch. There will now be four loops on your hook. Now it still looks like there are three loops on your index finger, but really there are only two loops. And then you have the working strand of yarn that's over the top of your hand. So leave the two loops on your finger and only yarn over the working strand of yarn. Pull the yarn through all four loops on your hook. Now as I turn my hand over, you can still see the two loops on my finger. Now take your finger out of the loops and move on to the next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to show you the stitch again, but this time I'm going to show you how to adjust your loops to make them shorter or longer. Okay, so again we're going to wrap our yarn around our index finger two and a half times. Insert your hook into the next stitch, and then yarn over the hook from the top of the yarn. Insert your hook into the two and a half loops on your finger, And then this is when you want to pull the yarn in to make your loops smaller or out to make them longer. So I'm going to pull mine out and show you the difference between the loops I did before and the loops I'm doing now. Okay, so when you're happy with the length of your loops, pull all three through only the stitch. There will now be four loops on your hook. Okay, so go ahead and grab that working strand of yarn and then pull it through all four loops on your hook. Okay, so go ahead and remove your finger, and that's how you make the longer loops. Now if you're having trouble with the length of your loops, or your stitches just keep slipping, try pressing your fingers onto your hook to keep your loops and stitches in place. Then when you yarn over your working strand of yarn, hold onto the loops, and that will keep the loops in place. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I hope you have a great day.